Hi everyone. We often wonder why certain set of people having had similar exposure all throughout their life behave and act differently. Be it siblings, classmates, family or community members. Uh, it's because of the deep-seated beliefs that we hold. I am Bela Goyal, communication skills expert and transformation coach. Today I am going to talk to you about beliefs. Beliefs are formed over the years. Because of the environment that we are exposed to, our upbringing, our education, our own experience in life and a large number of other such external environmental factors that we have been exposed to. When I am stating this, I am not talking about whether these beliefs are right or wrong. Sometimes you will find people going down memory lane, remembering all those good things and, and they are very happy about it. While some, they get stuck in the past failures and, and give up as a result failing to enjoy their life in the present. I mean, just because one has had failures in the past, it does not mean that one is going to continue to, you know, face failures in the future too. What I am stating here is, our past is not equal to our future. We behave and act according to the beliefs that we hold. Now say for example, you've been praised in school as a junior you know, for being very eloquent and over the subsequent years, this has reinforced, it gets reinforced by your participation in various activities. You start taking part in poetry, debate, elocution, etc. Now what happens? You grow up believing that public speaking is your forte because you found success in it and you develop a belief and confidence over the years. In contrast, take an incident or event when you were ridiculed in school. Your self-esteem is hurt and the fear of being mocked stops you from participation in any future events. A few failed subsequent, I mean a few uh, failed attempts subsequently uh, over the years uh, just reinforce this belief and you develop a belief that I am not good at public speaking. I have stage fear. I am not a spontaneous speaker. My voice is not good. I mean, I'm, I just don't have stage presence, etc, etc, etc. The events could be anything. A failed job, failed interviews, bad relationships and this could even develop feelings of you know fear, anxiety, discomfort, nervousness, inferiority complex. So what happens is people start living in this emotional state and they start believing that their past is equal to their future. Subsequent exposure to similar situation leads to fear as they see no hope in it. There is no denying that wrong things happen. People fail in spite of great effort but this does not mean that they will always fail. On the contrary, that's the past that they get stuck in because they've accepted that the past is equal to the future. The past is actually history. It only teaches us and shows us direction. In no way can our past predict the outcome of our future. The future totally depends on you. If you want to change it, then change your belief. And how do you change your belief? By bringing in a change in your thoughts, by initiating a change in the mindset. Don't let your past impact or influence your future. Let your past experiences be learnings so that you don't repeat the same mistakes in future. If you choose to be happy and successful, there is no stopping. It's like when we refer to a map to reach a certain destination. Now what happens? The map only gives you the direction. 
but it's not a territory. It does not define the hurdles that you will face en route. For example, a speed breaker, a breakdown of your car, a pothole on the way, anything. It only indicates the path to your destination. Similarly, when we plan to seek our goals, challenges are bound to be present. And then we tend to relate it, I mean, the, relate the challenges to our past experiences and respond accordingly. But then that's not reality. If we focus on reality, we will overcome the challenges as we move ahead, provided we have self belief. As a transformation coach, I help my clients become aware of their own potential and then I assist them to working towards their desired outcomes in life. If you think this video was useful, please like, comment and share. And for any guidance, feel free to reach out to me. This is Bela Goyal signing off until we meet again.